discipline, 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 discipline. I've said it before. I will keep, keep saying it. Have discipline in your life, especially, especially in these times right now. It is so key to stay on a plan, stay on a regimented plan of action, a routine, just get on something. Go create your workout plan, stick to it. Go create whatever, go to jujitsu, go sign up, whatever, if it's two days, three days, every day, go stick to a game plan. Continue, even through this shutdown, this lockdown, continue to have some sort of schedule that you're sticking to and you're not allowing yourself just to just be going with the flow and just going in the wind or playing the victim and feeling like, okay, I'm just going to stay in and stay under the covers and binge watch Netflix for 12 hours. It just, we just can't do it like that because, and number one, when I say that, I used to be that. That used to be me to a T. The minute, the minute something goes wrong, the minute it's not going my way, I just throw my hands up, give up and just say, okay, I'm just going to complain and figure out a reason and figure out an excuse why I'm not able to have this opportunity instead of saying, okay, it's hard. It's not going my way. The odds are against me, whatever the case may be, but I'm still going to stick with my goal. I'm still going to stick with the plan. I still have an end goal that I want to accomplish and I'm still going to stick to it regardless of how it looks like the, you know, it just, it won't even work. I don't care. I'm not thinking about what can't work or what I don't have, what I'm going to focus on is, okay, the skill sets that I do have, what strengths that I do have, and my weaknesses, I'll just have to work on them as we go. And that's why I'm always preaching about, hey, go, go train, go work out, get your workout in. Allow yourself to be on that plan to where you can go in there, smash the weight, smash jujitsu, and it just allows you just to get out all of that negative energy those negative feelings, those victim feelings. And I use the word victim because, uh, like I said before, a lot of times, listen, guys, you know what would happen to me over the last couple of months, losing my mother, this shutdown, you know, the whole world is just weird. And I crumbled and the pain took over and the pain is still there. I'm not saying all of a sudden now I'm just better and everything is just all good. Absolutely not. But I had to realize, okay, I'm grieving you know, I, I'm hurting, I'm upset, I'm angry, I'm mad. What is that doing right now for me? Absol- it's just making things worse. Absolutely just makes things worse for me. You know, what is happening when I'm just going under the covers and just trying to randomly find something on Netflix? It's only making things work because it's forcing me just to dwell on what's going on and not pushing forward. And when I say push forward, it's like I don't have the answer right now. I don't have the magical pill, the magical key to say, okay, do this and we're going to go. But we can take steps to keep going forward. We can take steps to help grieve. We can take steps to help get over this and get over this hump. That's why, you know, I work out often because for me, it's my therapy. I don't care about the physique and this and that and how big the biceps are. All of that, that's so past me now. You know, listen, I'm going to be in shape. I'm going to stay to a a plan. I'm going to look like this. I'm probably not going to look any different and I'm okay with that. I'm going to be doing jujitsu and I'm going to constantly progress in jujitsu because I stick to a game plan. I stay disciplined. Even through all of this, I stay disciplined. And that was my way of forcing myself to, regardless of what happened. Because listen, I lost my mother and the jobs, you know, the whole, my job industry just completely shut down. And for a lot of us, we had nothing to do. We were locked indoors. We're on quarantine. We're just, we're just in here. And we get just stuck, you know, mentally and physically. We're like, is this what it's going to be like? Who would have thought it would be going on for this long? We're in August. Summer's almost over and we're still in this situation. And I was going through that where I didn't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to say anything. And it's like, okay, I had to really, really dig deep. And it happened when I was in jiu-jitsu, when jiu-jitsu became a thing again, just being able just to stick to the plan, unleash, let this energy out, and it made me feel so much better because I was just able to just, all that pent-up energy, that anger, that fear, I was just able just to get it out. When I go to the gym and, and smash weights, it's the same thing. It's not even about, okay, Let's get an extra inch on my chest. And, you know, I don't even care about that. I I care about the journey. I care about the discipline. 
That's what keeps me going to the gym. That's why I go every day because I'm constantly developing my discipline. And if I can develop my discipline, my discipline spills over to everything else, figuring out a solution, how we can get over this, figuring out how we're going to handle business. You know, how am I going to grieve, grieving better, allowing myself to grieve, but still pushing forward. That's why I work out every day. That's why I'm in jujitsu. If the doors are open, I'm going to take a class because it's creating that routine is creating that schedule. It's forcing me to say, it's forcing me to get up and like, nope, we're going to go. Because it's easy for, for any of us. It's easy for me right now, you know, just to go back to the old me and just figure out, oh, this is why it's not working. I'm, I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to stay here. I'm, I'm just going to cry and not do anything else. I'm just going to be upset and just let time go by. And that's not what we're here for. That's not what it's supposed to be about. This is the time to now, it forced me, number one, to go internal and just to reflect on what's going on and ask some questions about myself and figure out some things about me, you know, and ask some real deep questions, you know, that maybe I didn't want to ask myself. It forced me to do that. And now I'm forcing myself to get up, get up early, get up earlier, you know, go, go to the gym, go to jujitsu, I'm hurting, it doesn't matter, go. I don't, and off days, that's for me, it's, I don't care about that. I don't care what science says and it's talking about, oh, you need your off days to maximize your gains and maximize potential growth. Listen, I'm, it's not, it's so far past that. I don't care. It's for my mental health. So a lot of people always ask me why, and that's why I wanted to make this video. A lot of people ask me, why do I go to gym so much? You can take a break. You know, you look the way you look. You don't need to. It's not about that. I'm past that part. It's, about, it's past the look. It's about creating the discipline. It's about showing, if I'm making these videos, like I've said a million one times, I have to make sure I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I have to make sure I'm living it to the extreme. I'm doing it. And it's not extreme to me. This is my normal. It's my normal to get up early before the sun is up, whatever the time may be, and to say, I'm going out there. I'm going, even with all this going on, I'm going to stick to the plan. I'm going to stick to the routine because this too, it's going to pass. And it's gonna define a lot of people when we do get over this, who we are. It's gonna define me, it's changing me. It's showing me a lot about myself. It, it's, it put, this is an ultimate test for me. Something that I never wanted to happen, something that I never wish on anybody, something that is so traumatic, it happened to me. It happened to other people. They lost their loved ones through all of this. They don't know when the next check is coming. The savings is running out. A lot of these fears, you know, that people, what is your, your scariest thing that you can think of that could happen to you? It is, it is happening to people. And now this is going to be the ultimate tr test. The ultimate, the ultimate test. And it's going to show people, it's going to test people, okay, if you have your faith, if you believe, if you believe there's a higher power, you believe in the universe, you believe if you put positive energy out, if you believe you put action out, that you're going to get what you want in return. All right. Here, let, let prove it to me. Boom. It happened. It happened to me. And it, it took me off guard. And that very moment, I came to a realization where it's like, oh, okay. How strong are you? Not physically. Physically is just, that's, that's so low vibration. How strong are you right now? How strong are you guys right now? And it's like, I really want to know, like, how strong are you guys? If anyone watches these videos and they, they pull something from it, how strong are you guys right now? How are you pulling through this? Are you going to pull this? Are you willing to go through it? Whatever it takes to pull through it. When you just don't want to do it anymore, when you just want to just throw your hands up, but your heart is telling, your mind is telling you, no, 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 get up, get up, you gotta go. When you just have that feeling like, no, I should be getting up right now. I should be doing this right now. Something needs to be happening right now. As you're sitting there on the couch, on your bed, just lying there, and you have that feeling like you need to get up right now and just go. What, are you going to react? Are you going to act on that? You know, what is that feeling? Where's that coming from? Or are you just going to just throw your hands up and saying, yeah, 
Let's get it, guys. Come on.